guys welcome back this is the dev Mesa's youtube channel and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can enable code snippet plugin for the django ck editor so if you've been following the series uh as you can see we've been able to create a, a basic django project that uses a ck editor as its text editor so we've been able to set it up for the admin dashboard it's, it's right here it works in the admin dashboard and also we'll be able to set it up in the front end that's in the html page so we can also create a model object from here or we can do it, it from the admin dashboard as well so now to enable the code snippet plugin in your Django CK editor. First thing you have to do is go to settings.py. So I'm assuming that uh, you've been following the video so far. So because within this series, I have uh, installed the Django CK editor package and I've set it up already in both the front end and the back end. So by default, the code snippets plugin comes with the CK editor, but it is not uh, enabled. So you have to enable it and to do that all you have to do is add this extra plugins the p is capital capitalized so plugins comma dot join You add uh, the name of the plugin, which in this case is code snippets, like so. Code snippets, yes. Okay, so now if we go back to our dashboard, okay, first of all, you know, um, I'm using the basic toolbar right now, so for it to show, you have to change it to full. So Toolbar so that all the tools in the toolbar will show up. So let me refresh this. You see, everything is coming up now, and this icon right here is for the code snippets. So let me attempt to use it. This is um, Python. When you click on it like this you come here you can select any language so i've chosen python let me go back to my dashboard and copy some python code so something like this when you paste it in click on ok you can see it is highlighted let me submit it You can see it's right here but right now it doesn't actually look good because that um highlight is only for the ck editor itself it's not working on the front end so for you to make it work on the front end you have to go and get this uh, package via cdn so the first one is just search highlights Okay, first, let me use um, Google instead of um, Bing. Let it load. Okay, so on Google, you search highlights JS. See, it brings out options for you. In the first one, you click on demo. Now this is like, uh, should I say, playground? But within here, you can see all the different styles that you can apply on the front end. And when you click on it, you actually see what it looks like. See, from their names, different many styles. They are very very many. You can select any one you want, or you can go through all of them. So I think I kind of like this one. You can go through all of them. 
there are very very many uh but this one is good devi pins so now to be able to use this in our front end let me open another tab you need to go to this link right here don't worry all these links i will leave uh all these uh page websites that i'm going to i'll leave a link down in the description to them so you need to go to cdnjs.cloudfair.com click on cdns project and within the search box you just search highlights okay this it's right here click on it let's say version is uh, 11.6 so you just have to select first for you select uh okay let's start with styles select the style first of all and you copy it you go to your html page now in the within the heading tag you paste it in like this be sure okay paste it in like that then select the next one which is um, javascript then you do the same copy it go to your head attack again paste it in as well so now that's not all there's still one more thing that you have to do that's you have to create this script right here which will enable it to be load to be loaded sorry so do hljs dot highlights is capital all This way, okay. Now, if you save this, you go back, refresh it. Can you see the code is now highlighted properly? So, okay. Now, let me show you how you can change the team. All you just have to do is come to this place, get the name of the team that you want to use. Like, let's say I want to use this Dev Beans team, for example. Okay, maybe uh, I think okay, it's different from that one, so that we're able to see the difference. So, Devi Beans, go to your HTML. You can see this part here. This is where the team name is. So you just have to change this to Devi Beans. I hope I got the spelling right. Devi Beans. Okay, let me refresh this and see. Okay, it's like. I got the spelling wrong. Let me check it out again. Devi Beans. Devi Beans. Devi Beans. Yes. Okay, for some reason that style is not working. Let's let me quickly try another one. Oh, gradient lights. Gradient lights. Refresh it now. Okay. I think there's an error somewhere. Let me let me check the console. Okay, to digest integrity. Well, wow, resources has been blocked. Okay, let me see. Something wrong somewhere. Okay. Uh, let me remove this. Fair policy 
also aging animals. Remove this as well, integrity. So, uh, all we be left now is just the URL. Okay, now next thing is to do the same for this as well. Remove all of this first. Let me see. Okay, I think everything has been deleted. Okay, let me try it now. Okay, the style is actually applied now. So if you remove that, it should work. That means uh, when you are copying it, you copy it here, not this uh, script tag. You just copy the URL itself. So something like this. Yes, you just copy the URL directly. So uh, as you can see, this is working. Let's try that Devi pins again. That's a um, Devi pins. Hope I got it right. Fresh. As you can see, it's applied correctly. So the code snippet section is highlighted correctly on the front end. So if you have any question about this part or if you run into any error, really feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't worry about the uh, these links. I'm going to leave them down in the description. As always, thanks for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use the HTML5 video plugin in CK Editor. This is what we enable you to upload um, videos to your text editor. So, till next time guys, I will see you in the very next video.